going on guys? Welcome back to another pickup episode. Let's get into mail. First one, I got a mess of a little bit from the first and from the second series of Money Morphin Power Rangers here, these little PVC figures. I have some of these already. I know I already have him, Red Ranger. I already have Finster. Um, I already have Squat. I have King Sphinx, a Babu, and I have Alpha. Mainly picked up the lot for these six. Uh, the other five rangers that I needed in gold are, I think I paid like 10 bucks shipped for all 12 of these figures. So I figured 10 bucks for these six alone isn't horrible, really. And then I can just sell those off to recoup some of the money. So I'm just happy to finish off the ranger set with Goldar. Um, I really like these figures. Like I said before, Finster right here was the first Power Ranger toy that I ever got. Uh, back in the day as a youngster because the figures were so hard to find in the stores So these small PVC figures, they just they hold a lot of nostalgia for me So I'm just really happy to get these <laughs> Next one So I picked up another vintage team and T figure uh, one that I did not have and that is tattoo uh, He is complete. I believe he only came with the one weapon, but I'm not 100% sure he's got all of his uh, tattoo stickers Still all over his body the majority of them have started to peel but uh, really he's not gonna be handled that much so I'm not too worried about them falling off I picked this guy up because he was super cheap no paint loss on this guy and the couple tattoos that I looked at while I was in Chicago had a lot of paint loss on the ponytail here and I really just wanted kind of a nice minty example so uh, when I saw this guy on eBay and it had great pictures and I picked them up real cheap. I do know that I had to make an offer, and I think I made the offer of $10. It might have been 15, and I made the offer of $10, and the seller went for it. So I got myself a super nice minty tattoo. Thank you, generous eBay seller. I actually snagged this guy in Chicago at the Kane County Toy Show, and I forgot to include him in the video, and that is this 1988 Hardhead Raph. He's really clean. He didn't come with this weapon, but it's just one that I had, so I stuck it back there. Believe it or not, Raph was like the only turtle that came with a, a uh, spot in the belt where you could put that weapon. Uh, he's missing everything else, but that's okay. I'll just pick it up down the line. And it's just hard to leave a super clean 88 turtle figure like this behind. I think I paid two bucks for it. So, you know, I mean, the belt alone is worth the two bucks. All right, let's do this one next, just because this is pretty sweet. I picked this up. This is the uh, the Sega Genesis Ultimate Portable Game Player. This is made by, what is it? Is it Alt Games or All Games? At Games. It's made by At Games. And this comes with 85 built-in games. But what I loved about this player is that it comes with a uh, SD card slot. So you can load up a SD full of the uh, Sega Genesis ROMs as long as they're .bin files. So I put like another 100 games on here. All of the awesome games that weren't included like Hyperstone Heist and you know the Streets of Rage games which I don't believe are on here. Uh, Street Fighter and all of the Disney games. So I just loaded this bad boy up and uh, this thing's awesome. Especially in the car on road trips to Chicago. It doesn't have the best build quality. It's pretty, it straight up feels like cheap ass plastic. It's not super expensive, but it's not super cheap either really. Let's end on this note here. This is the evil space alien slippery shark or killer bite slippery shark. I don't know, slippery shark. I picked this up at a antique mall for two bucks. It's still got the, uh, I don't want to peel it off because it's kind of stuck on there pretty well. Not that this is a super nice card, but I paid two bucks for this at an antique mall. Um, I bought it pretty much as an opener because the card is so beat up. There's creases, it's bent, the bubble is crushed on the top. But even in the shape it's in, it's still hard for me to open this. So I might leave him on the card, hang him up back here on the retail display, and uh, maybe one day I'll open him. But for now, I'm going to leave him carded. I'm not in a hurry to open them and put them on the shelf. I could probably find one at a toy show pretty cheap. He only comes with the one accessory, which is nice. It makes it much easier to find complete. But uh, you know, for two bucks, I'll buy any carded Power Ranger figure for two bucks all day long. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for this pickup episode. I got an awesome lot of PVC Power Ranger figures. 
some vintage TMNT, some vintage Power Rangers, and this pretty sweet Sega Genesis portable game player. But it's just some smaller stuff to help fill some holes in the collection. Uh, you know, I'm trying to save up for the Kalamazoo Toy Show. It's this month, the day after Thanksgiving. So if any of you guys are going to be out there, uh, hit me up and we'll meet up. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Damn, right? Peace.